I remember he wore a fedora and he wore his high water pants and his white socks. And he was very, very soft spoken. He was very, very quiet, very polite, very respectful. I also remember he turned his light off. Like we have a, we, this was at the time actually we were recording in the basement of the Zanuck Theater. And so, and it wasn't very well lit. It wasn't, you know, set up for that. We were just sort of the interlopers for 10 years or whatever. Um, and he, so you have a little light on your music stand. We still have them. And he turned his off. And I remember thinking, how can you see that? How can you see? Like, how can you see? <laughs> um, and then he worked with, uh, you know, he worked on Do the Bart Man. What do you mean? Oh, the song. Yeah. yeah. And so he worked quite closely with Nancy on that. But he wasn't allowed to sing, I read, because of his label or something? Yeah, it was weird. So That's get weird. this. So there was a guy who on that day had been handpicked by Michael Jackson to sing like Michael Jackson in front of Michael Jackson for this record. And he's this little, he's this, he, at that time, you know, quite young, small white man who named Kip, um, I forget his last name. He was he came, he came and reprised his Lisa It's Your Birthday at the Hollywood Kip Bowl. Lennon. Kip Lennon, and um, can you imagine the pressure, the anxiety of being in the room with Michael Jackson to sing as Michael Jackson? I just like oh blew my mind. But what he he, he was, nailed it. It was a legal thing he couldn't. I do? believe so. That's what we heard. That his label yeah. said. I, I don't know, it sounds like a bunch of hooey to me, but for whatever reason, he didn't sing Lisa, It's Your Birthday.